Jackson, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. Perfect. Thanks, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Um, you know, I, I want to be able to, to eventually get to some questions about um, you know next week's game and you know national team call up because you know uh, those have been some big moments for, for you and for the team. But um, you know, want to make sure that we also uh, first address the, the incident that happened last Saturday because you know obviously that that takes precedent. Um, and and Mucci was able to provide a, a little bit of clarity about you know some of the, uh, the the talks that you guys have been having as a team and, and what you've been going through. But I, I'm, I'm curious from you, you know, as the captain, you know, how you've been trying to lead the team um, through this process when you know something traumatizing like that happens. Um, you know how the how the team can can you know heal together and, and work together to, to you know. Uh, make sure that, uh, that you, know, you guys uphold your, your values and make, make the team a, a safe and inclusive space for everyone. Um, yeah, you know, I think <clears throat> the conversation around the locker room is, um, you know, has been to be together as a team and support one another. Um, you know, we, um, you know, don't want to see this anywhere um, in the league. And, um, you know, I think what happened on, on Saturday is, you know, was was really disappointing and and you know made us made us angry. But you know the the team is together. You know I think Jabo and Lucci have have spoke more on it. Um, but you know we're we're here to support one another as a group. And you know that's I'm really proud of this team for 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 showing that collective unity um, through through this moment. Next question, Jamie Moore. Uh, King Jackson, thanks for taking the time and, and uh, you know, for the insight here. Can you uh, maybe share with us a little bit more, and maybe you don't know specifically around the Black Players for Change and their engagement here, but in terms of how the players engage with the league, you know, after an incident like this, so the league can, can make the decisions they need to make as well. Can you talk more about, you know, from a, from a player union side, from individual players, if, what you maybe know about what Jeremy's and others have said about Black Players for Change and their engagement. Can you just kind of talk talk people through a little bit, give us some insight into the process of how that all happens after an incident like this? Thank you. Um, yeah, I think the, the investigation is, is still going on, um, so we're waiting to hear um, as well. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think the, the Players Union has, has reached out to, to the players, um, you know, to, to let, let voices be heard. Um, and I think that's the the, the important part is, um, you know, for for guys to you know be able to express their their emotions and you know what what kind of kind of they witness. But um, like I said earlier, you know, I think the main thing for us is is that as a team, you know, our our unity and and um, you know speaking speaking with one another of and and supporting. Um, so. Um, that that's all I'll mention about it is that um, you know we're we're together as a team and you know we we, we support one another as um, through through the moments like this. Uh, let's now go to Bobby Wrinkle. Hey Jackson, thanks for taking a time for a question and uh, thank you for answering the questions beforehand. I know this is a tough topic, but I want to talk a little bit about <clears throat> soccer and what's changed for you this season, if possible. Um, you've had a couple of mi different teammates in the middle with you uh, this, throughout the season. Miro missing some games, Baltissimo coming in, Gresso missing some games. What are some things you're going into each game? I know you, you've had a lot of you know, line-breaking passes this season. Uh, what's changed with your mentality, and what are you talking with your teammates to kind of uh, facilitate everything you need? Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I think Lucci brought in um, a great – philosophy and you know he he wants to be a progressive team you know both offensively and defensively um, you know I think my role in that is you know it's, it's similar to what it has been in the past is you know dropping a little bit lower and you know linking up the play um, but I think as as a whole you know we're um, more structured you know I think we all are on the same same page and you know I think that's a lot of credit to to the coaching staff and, and of course the players to to adapt to, to that system but um, yeah, you know, I think we signed some some good players, and you know, some of the younger guys have have stepped into great roles, and you know, existing guys have um, started to play really well. So, um, you know, finding them in in the pockets has been easy because you know it's something that that we train regularly, 
um, and yeah, you know, pleased with the, the performance from, from the team so far this year. Let's quickly do one more round and go back to Alex Morgan for a second question. Hey, thanks for taking another question, uh, Jackson. I want to ask, uh, you know, con congratulations on the, the national team uh, call up. Um, you know, you, you've been playing really well these last few weeks. How do you feel right now with where you're at uh, and, uh, you know, with that call up and, 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 and where that can take you? Um, yeah, I feel confident. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, with the way that the team is playing. You know, I think um, that that helps with uh, with my game as well. You know, when, when, when the guys are working well and the guys are playing well, you know, it it's gives you an ease and, and a confidence on the field. Um, and so, you know, I'm excited um, for the call up again. You know, I think it's a, another good opportunity, um, you know, to be to be back involved with with that group and, you know, um, yeah, you know, excited, excited for, for the chance to, to play another game. Next question, Jamin Warren. Hey, Jackson. So, you know, there was a time around the start of kind of World Cup qualifying last year where you have engaged to the national team up to a point, but then, you know, you weren't getting the call-ins that you were. Was there ever, you know, a time where, where you were connecting with Greg in terms of like what might need to change in order to get you, you know, to a call up? And, you know, how much of any of those conversations did you take and incorporate, you know, into into your game this year that's led to this opportunity to get called back into the national team again? And, and you know, have you had any conversation follow up with, with Anthony Hudson? You know, that would connect back to those earlier conversations with Greg that, that would have happened. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I think fortunate to have Lucci as a coach, um, you know, because he was, you know, recently at the at the World Cup with the national team. And so, um, you know, just his, his experience and his, you know, kind of leadership and, and words, I think, encouraged me a lot in, in the recent months. Um, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, the national team, you know, you have to perform at the highest level to, to continue to be called or, or they move on to, to the next person. And so, you know, I think it was, um, you know, definitely a moment to, you know, reflect and, you know, see what, what I could change and, and, you know, improve on to, you know, get the call back. And I mean, I think this, this year we've, we've played well and um, the team is, is, you know, firing right now. And so um, <coughs> that helps, you know, get, get exposure to, to these call-ups and um, yeah, I'm re re ready for the opportunity to, you know, play again for, for the national team. And one final question from Fabian Wrinkle. Thanks for taking a second question, Jackson. The last time you were called up or before you were called up alongside JT, another team of yours, how is it like getting called up with Jake Cowell this time? And what are the some differences that you guys are planning for and um, what are some I guess behind the scenes looks of you and Kay going this time instead of JT and you. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know I love when um, I get to go with with teammates. You know the goal is to to get more Earthquakes players in in the pool and um, in that team because you know there's a lot of a lot of talented players here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for Cade. He's he showed why why he deserves to be there. Um, and you know it's it's good for him to get um, you know exposure um, at his age and you know find. Um, find his stride there because he he can make impacts in games um, So re really excited for him, you know happy to be going to another camp with him there um, And yeah, we'll, we're both excited to, to play for the national team